Hi everyone, Katie here. Welcome back to another layout video. Today I have quite a few awesome pictures uh, from our trip to Peru again. And this was when we got to go to an alpaca farm, um, which was really cool. They have both alpacas and llamas. Um, and we got to pet and feed them and uh, just see their little farm area. And it was super cool. So definitely worth documenting. Now I have seven photos here, which is a lot. Um, so I'm doing a double page layout. I have this wood grain as my background. This is from Echo Park. Um, and it is from the Spring Market collection. I've had this collection for quite a while, um, but just haven't really gotten into it. I took it apart recently, so it's not you know in its packaging with all the other collection pieces. And I'm finding that I'm much more likely to use it uh, because one, I can actually see what papers are in there. Um, and two, you know, this wood grain works, works perfectly for my alpaca farm. It is not a spring market style thing at all, but it works out. So I knew I had these pictures and I did something crazy, something I tell people to um, never do. And I saved things specifically for this event. You see, I have a chipboard, a uh, little alpaca or llama, and then I have another little llama over here as well. I've been hoarding these two pieces for this page for quite a while, which normally I am so not about that. Um, but this was a pretty specific thing. Um, so I went for it and I ended up using both of them. Thankfully, I remembered that I had them um, and was able to get both of them on the page. So I'm happy with that. And I guess hoarding sometimes is not the worst thing. Now, I wanted to map my photos, but I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted them to be matted with. I didn't want it to just be white or black. Um, and I knew if I picked just like one solid color, I would need to have at least two pieces of it in the 12 by 12 cardstock paper. Um, so instead of doing that, <laughs> I pulled out my um, small pads. I have uh, one six by six pad that came in a mystery box and it is from Hampton Arts. Um, it's called Growing Garden. It was definitely like an older style pad and the um, A sides were not my favorite, but the B sides are perfect solids and they make for great photo mats. So I go ahead and use that. And then I also have kind of a bright color 4x6 photo matting pad that I use to mat photos. Surprise, surprise. So I've got some pink, um, a red, orange, and then another style of pink. They're all a little different, but I think they all work well with the um, photos and then ultimately, you know, get the same kind of vibes that I want from this layout when I add a few more colors in there. Um, so it works out really well. I will say that the um, photo matting, like the 4x6 paper that's made to mat 4x6 photos is a lot thinner. Um, it's like the paper, like when you go into the store and it's most of that like older style printed paper and um, it's very thin like almost like printer paper right and I've gotten pretty used to at least some weight of cardstock so that one's not my favorite but ultimately once it's here on the layout you can't tell at all you know it looks like a photo mat and it works perfectly I guess it is kind of nice because it doesn't add you know much bulk or thickness to your layout and if you have thicker elements then you know, like embellishments and things, you really don't want that. So I guess it really does work out. Now I'm having to overlap and arrange my photos. Of course, I've got so many of them um, that I know I'm going to have to do this. But also, once I do that, like I like my layout, I know there's room for journaling, I know there's room for a title, but something else, I need something more. You know, it's, it's not as interesting as I want it to be. So I pull out my new 4x6 Paige Evans Bungalow Lane uh, paper pad, and I love this because it has um, like a rose gold foiling. Okay, I'm sorry, it's called copper foiling to be specific. Um, and I pick one page that has 
uh, the foiling on it and one page that just has flowers in multiple colors. And I really like the different colors because I feel like they are very similar to my photo mats in all different colors. So in order to use these, I cut them into two inch strips. So they're two inch by eight inch strips and I have six of them total. And I go ahead and arrange them so that they're almost equidistant. You know, I, I could have gotten out a ruler and could have made it better, but I didn't. Um, and I'm, I, I'm fine with that. I think it looks just fine the way it is. This, I think, just adds a little bit more interest to my paper and kind of fills the blank space. It also is a great way to, one, use up my 4 by 6 uh, I'm sorry, my 6 by 8 pads, um, which I like having and I like using, and it also just creates more color. I think it kind of brings the colors in the mats together, and, you know, I just think it's a more interesting layout to look at. I also don't have to, you know, use 10,000 stickers on here to, you know, make the interest. I'm using paper to do that. Which, if you'd prefer to use 10,000 stickers, more power to Yes, sometimes I do that. This was not one of those times. So getting everything adhered was definitely uh, one of the bigger challenges, just because I didn't want to take everything off and forget where I put it. Sometimes I will even take a picture of my layout, then, you know, brush everything off and rebuild it with adhesive on the back from my photo which I highly recommend um, if you, you know, do this kind of thing too, where you take everything off and you forget where you put things. Um, I, of course, was filming, so I did not, I used my phone to film, so I didn't um, have the opportunity to do that, but I think it turned out pretty well anyway. Now, like I said, those two embellishments that had to find a place on my layout did find a place on my layout, one is a chipboard from My Mind's Eye, and then the other is like a puffy um, cardstock sticker. And this is from the Crepe Paper Hooray collection. Um, I've used up all the other ones, but this, uh, and I think this llama at one point had a present on his back, <laughs> but I cut that off to make it work for what I wanted. And I think I actually used the present on something else too. Now, using my scraps from my um, photo mats, I create a little journaling box and I have to adjust it and, you know, trim it and everything. And of course that's fine. It happens. It makes just like a very thin, um, journaling box that I put down at the bottom of my right hand page. Um, and I really like that I did this because you can still see so much of the, uh, like paper strip embellishment that I put on the paper, you know, using the, um, bungalow lane uh, paper pad. And I really like this because one, I don't like covering up all the gold foiling. I love the foiling. Um, I think it adds just a little sparkle and shine to my layout and I just enjoy having it. So here I do go ahead and use my um, thickers ruler and my white jelly roll pen to actually put lines on my journaling box. I am someone who will write at a slant. No matter how hard I try, I will write, you know, going up, going down, sometimes some of both. So having the lines is really helpful. And I also, personally, I think it just looks more put together when I have it that way. So um, it's easy to do, and I like doing it. Again, I just write a little bit about our trip here with the alpaca farm. Um, it was so much fun, and it also happened to be on my husband's birthday, which was a great treat. Now, these letters, I knew I wanted my title to just be Alpaca Farm, and I knew I wanted to use my Amy Tangerine Brave and Bold, this orange paper, um, to make the letters. I just, I was feeling that. So I actually cut these out on my Cricut, um, and then I took a bold black pen, I want to say it was my number five pen, and just outlined them, just so that they had a little more impact um, than they did by themselves. Now, I love this font. I've definitely used it before. I think it's called Beach Days, and I probably got it from defont.com. It's definitely one just intended for personal use, um, but I get my personal use out of it, that's for sure. And I'm popping them up here, one, because it's just so easy with the thicker letters to do that with my little foam squares, 
and I really like the dimension that it brings to the layout. I also like how it kind of keeps my um, words, especially the word farm, from really blending into all the patterns that are behind it. Um, so that's what I'm doing there and I really like it. I must say these little foam squares are the best. I know some people like to use dots and I've got foam tape and things like that and you know everyone's got their reasons for doing that but one thing that I really love about this is that there's so um, little waste you know you don't have um, anything but what you're going to use to put on there which is fantastic. They're also easy to cut in half um, if you need to do that. So as I'm finishing up my layout, I just want to add a few little embellishment pieces. Um, some more chipboard from the same one that the little llama came off of. And then I take a few pieces from uh, a pink fresh um, and little embellishment kit with the wooden buttons. Also some of my puffy stickers from B Bungalow Lane and another puffy sticker um, from one of my Pink Fresh collections. Now, unfortunately, part of it is a little cut off, but don't worry, you'll see close ups uh, coming up here in just a minute with my um, individual still pictures. But as I add just a few more little pieces um, that you'll be able to see soon, that will finish up my layout. So thank you all so much for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.